Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a quick follow-on from the previous video, which was about my neurologist appointment, in which we discussed uh, the results of my most recent MRI scan. And I managed to catch on camera a discussion with, with my neurologist in which I asked him about his thoughts on the carnivore diet. And what I promised was a follow-up video about the interview questions that I had prepared for him in advance but actually I decided not to send him those questions and the reason I didn't is because I kind of feel like I'm pushing it with him anyway I don't think he thinks that I take my multiple sclerosis seriously enough because I've missed a couple of appointments which weren't my fault the communication from the hospital hasn't been the best and some appointment letters haven't arrived and it's meant that there's been a few appointments which I haven't um, showed up to and we've had a bit of tension surrounding that that plus the fact that I don't accept the treatment means that sometimes relations can be ever so slightly strained and what happened was when I posted the video a lot of comments came in which kind of went a little bit further than criticizing my neurologist's position they went further and kind of attacked his uh, character and his weight and it's fine everybody's got the right to their opinion it, it's an open forum for discussion however I didn't want to um, put my neurologist in an awkward position by sending him that video and have him read the comments because he, he does speak English a little bit and uh, he would probably understand those comments perfectly well and so I just decided not to because the thing is he for somebody on the internet, he's just a random doctor who, who's, who's up for criticism. But he's actually somebody I know personally and have an important relationship with. So I decided not to push it too much. So I wanted to clarify from the previous video that I, I had lesions on my MRI scan results. But those lesions were actually from before I started the carnivore diet because that MRI scan um, was was done over six months ago and the, o the only reason it's taken us so long to have a meeting where we sit down and look at them together is because of these missed appointments which and the fact that I had a broken wrist um, for, 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 the, for the first five months of the year which meant I couldn't drive to the hospital there were just lots of complications so we, that was the first time we would sat down to discuss that brain scan but it was actually from before I started the diet so the next MRI scan, and I believe he did request an MRI scan for the near future, will be the first MRI scan since I started the carnivore diet. So I'm very intrigued to know what the results of that will be. So in the meantime, I have had the blood test results from the hospital. They came through in the post. And I'd like to share some of the, some of the results with you guys. He's actually circled and written in English um some comments um so i've actually got a, a vitamin d deficiency which does surprise me because i get a lot more sun here than in england and i believe vitamin d is in eggs and i consume a lot of eggs so i i'm not sure why i have a vitamin d deficiency although that is something which is associated with people who have ms so and and, and i had a low i had low vitamin d before i was diagnosed with ms um, so I guess that's something I need to take further supplements for. He's actually sent me a prescription for a drug called hydroferol, hydroferol, which taking one capsule every two weeks, which strikes me as odd. Why would you take a capsule so infrequently? It makes me wonder what it is. If anyone's heard of that, um, please, please let me know what you know about that. So... He's put, I think you need more sun or hydroferol and sent me a prescription. Fine, so I'll try and get more sun. And then um, everything else seems to be absolutely fine. Everything is without a comment. They have the word tendencia or, or commentario. And tendencia is when it falls into what's normal, normal range. And commentario is when there's something to, to mention about, about that result. So every single mineral and vitamin is absolutely fine apart from vitamin D and then when we get to cholesterol he's circled he's circled the that and put this is bad <laughs> this is bad so I don't know 
this is really interesting. Clearly what I need to do next is a video about cholesterol because this is obviously a really, this is one of those things that um, could be an old assumption that needs undoing or it could be that I am actually taking a stupid risk by following this diet. I don't know. There's a, there's conflicting opinions about, about cholesterol. I have come to believe that I need cholesterol because myelin is made of cholesterol in the brain and myelin is affected by multiple sclerosis. Um, a process of demyelination is when the immune system attacks the, the, the fatty sheathing around the nerve fibres in the brain and that fatty sheathing is made of cholesterol, partly made of cholesterol. And my dad is actually a GP, a general practitioner, that's a family doctor I think you say in the US. He has had traditional training and for the most part follows that traditional training. But he did say, actually, uh, when I told him I'd gone carnivore, that he thought, he'd thought he always thought cholesterol was a good thing, not necessarily a bad thing, for what that's worth. But something to look into, because I've heard some in some compelling arguments in the carnivore world, so, so I'll look into that for a future video. I have got a measurement here of uh, total cholesterol 264. I don't know what that metric is. I don't know what measurement that is but the the, the number that given here for total cholesterol is 264 and then hdl cholesterol hdl is 79 and cholesterol non hdl is 185 and cholesterol ldl ldl is 169 and and he's pointed out that the ldl of 169 and the non hdl of 185 he has highlighted them as bad. This is bad. So <laughs> I don't know what to make of that myself. I'm really interested to see what everyone else thinks about that, about that. I'm personally more interested in the brain scan, my next brain scan, to see if those lesions are reduced from the carnivore diet. So, so there you go, there's my blood test results. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. Oh, um, one other thing, I did an interview and recently on Dave Mack's channel, Zero Carb Life. Um, so do go and check that out. I was very honoured to be invited to an interview on, on his channel and it was a really great interview. I've put a link to it on the chan my channel's community tab. Okay, so that's that. So that's my blood test results and um, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. <laughs>